Hi, I'm David Adams, your instructor for the Project Management course. And with today's lecture, we're finishing the last of the five sections for additional project activities to add to the project schedule. That is the Human Resources Plan. Many companies have a very detailed Human Resources Plan, and the one variable for project management is something called a RACI chart. Come learn how we integrate Human Resources into the project plan. With this lecture, we'll be adding a Human Resources Plan. As before, we'll review the Plan the Project phase. And then we'll look in details to the Human Resource Plan. That is, what a full plan for hiring compensation evaluation looks like, and the project plan specific RACI chart. And we'll end with best practices. As stated before, Plan the Project phase usually takes over 90% of a project manager's activities. And with this lecture, we'll be ending the last of the five additional project activities, adding a human resources plan. And specifically, we'll be looking at the RACI chart. And the human resource plan is all about the people stuff. Forecasting and planning what people will be needed and carried out for the vital operations within the organizations. There's a lot of details, but what you need to glean from this part for the project management part is something called a RACI chart. RACI is an acronym that stands for who's responsible, who's accountable, who needs to be consulted, and who, who needs to be informed for each of the major deliverables. Let's look at some of the details of human resources planning for projects. First of all, it applies to both direct and contract employees. And the plan itself includes recruiting, hiring, compensation, training, evaluation, and benefits. And the last part, which is project specific, is developing a RACI chart. So what is a RACI chart and why do you want to use it? Well, a RACI chart is a simple tool that lets the project team understand the roles and responsibilities for each project deliverable or major task. And it's important to define so there's no miscommunication and make sure that all the activities are done on time and on budget. With creating a RACI chart, we don't have a standardized template. Rather, it's very easy to create by just creating a simple grid. You place the activities in the first column and all the key players along the top, which includes your project team, your sponsor and your customer, and may expand to other stakeholders. With the Bolt Delivery App project, we're using all the activities listed as deliverables, that is project management, new product development, product creation, marketing, and commercialization. The first part is a sign from the RACI chart, the letter A, who is accountable? And you only can have one A per line. The accountable resource is one as could be defined as the buck stops here. That's the one group or individual that needs to have full knowledge of the status of the activity. That person may or may not be involved in the actual work, but they are the all-knowing for that particular activity. The next letter to assign is the letter R. Who is responsible? These are the worker bees, and you can put a big R for a major role or a little r with a minor role. For instance, in project management, you can see the project management activity, the project manager is both accountable and does the majority part of the work, but marketing, business, and engineering also participate. The next letter to assign is C, who needs to be consulted. And you need to take care about the C because this is a gate. That activity cannot be, be completed until that person or group approves. So you need to have limited use of C's. 
and the project manager will need to incorporate those people to be consulted for the standing agendas. And the last letter to be assigned are the I's. Who needs to be informed? The activity will be completed and just to inform the I's when completed. And again, the project manager will need to incorporate I's for the standing agendas. It has been my experience that if you take the time to develop a RACI, there is no question on who's to do the work for each and every deliverable. It's a great exercise and I highly recommend it. Adding a human resources plan is the best practice. By identifying the people resources needed for the project, you'll be able to complete the project to success. And by developing a RACI chart, you'll be able to have the project deliverables that are communicated correctly with the project team and stakeholders and workers during those critical project update meetings. And we are now ready to add those five additional project activities to the project schedule. Until next time.